This is the Longsword, a weapon I've been championing from the day Chivalry 2 release. It always just felt so spicy to me, and public sentiment, if you go on Discord or Reddit, it's changed many times through the last two years, but for a long time, you had just daily posts crying about the Messer, or the Danax just being so OP they need nerfs, and I was firm the whole time that the Longsword, it was just better. Now, there's some personal preference to these things, but with great weapons like the Halberd, Messer, or Greatsword, I'll try to answer why I still comfort pick the longsword when I'm playing in an event. If you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. Stabbing will always be the best attack in medieval slashers for the simple fact that it is direct, and this is no different than real life combat, straight punches beat hooks to the target, it's just factual, and the longsword has one of the best stab attacks in the game, and there are a few elements to why that is, but let's start with those spicy 55 damage light stabs. This is a really high number for light attacks, and it should be the bread and butter of your offense. I tend to value light attack damage over heavy, because you just straight up use or you should use light attacks more, they're just a safer option generally than heavy attacking, especially in TO. And these 55 stabs aren't just good damage, but the longsword, it's very fast for a two-handed weapon. So these stabs come out really quickly, giving opponents little time to react in chaotic group fights, and also allowing you to chain together stab after stab, switching from one enemy to the next in those chaotic uh, group fights, just placing down DPS all over the place. And this is important for those comp events where I value landing hits more than anything. Like when every player in a lobby is good, kind of just flowing through the battlefield, target switching, and taking hits where you can get them. It just works way better than tunnel visioning one enemy, since the 1v1s, they take too long. And the kills, they'll still come with just applying as much damage as you can, as quickly as you can. What is tricky about the light stabs here, even, even post uh, nerf, is that they actually drag pretty well and you can throw them off to the side of enemies and either just kind of flick them back or move back with your footwork and it's really effective for passing guards. And now what's interesting is the heavy stab, it's only 65 damage so it's not much more than the light so we really want to use those light stabs as much as possible and save the heavies for turn backs and tendency breakers. Stabbing is also just viable in more circumstances than slash attacks. Like if you're in a large fight, slashes, they're hitting walls, they can hit stop on, on your idiot teammates who run right in front of you. With stabs, you can go right past your teammates or right through them. There's just so much good about the longsword stab, even down to the animations. It's fluid, it's fast, and you can make the animations look kind of jank with some stab feints where you either use look offs or faint high stab into low. It's just a really high quality attack. Now let's finally move past stabbing and talk a little bit about the longsword's versatility. The longsword, it almost has one-handed weapon speed, and that makes the overheads and slashes very, very effective tools in your gameplay. Excel longsword overheads and slashes are some of the strongest attacks in the game. Even in the slashes case, it doesn't do very good damage, but it's still a great attack. Excelled attacks should really kind of be your entry into combat. They're safer and allow you to condition your opponent for fast before slowing it down. But a lot of players, really good players at that, fall into the trap of wild swing manipulation. And some of these super long drags and fainted drags can be really tricky to deal with and counter. But with the longsword, you don't have to. The longsword is fast enough that you can take a calculated gamble and use those excelled slashes as almost like a power jab and take the initiative back from these players as they're dragging their weapon into another round. Realm. After a long time of playing, you kind of develop a sixth sense on when and what players you can do this on, along with the weapon matchups that it's most effective against. And these slashes work well in group fights too, as the longsword speed can end an opponent's lovely fainted drag before he beheads three of the shitters on your team who are standing around staring at it confused. I call this using calculated gambles, and the longsword slash excels are just great for this. And you can't forget to mention that a well-timed overhead crouch excel with the longsword can land before an enemy has a chance to get their block up for free damage, and those overheads on the longsword are actually pretty spicy damage-wise. Now, I've always described the longsword as feeling fluid to fight with, and I'll try to describe that here, but I feel like the feints and swing manipulation, it just flows really well on the longsword, and makes it hard for your opponents to keep up with. I think what happens is the longsword 
it's fast, which can kind of freak enemies out a bit. Like, opponents, they react to one-handed weapon feints a lot because they know they need to react fast for counters, but they're so freaked out with reacting to the speed that they fall for feint after feint. I see this all the time when I use the rapier on people, and I think you get a similar effect with the longsword. With players, they're afraid of fast. So... They're very quick to pull the trigger on their counters, allowing you to just faint out and just kind of flow on them. Now, while you have similar speed to a one-handed weapon, you have a lot more reach and solid damage that can let you kind of fight from relative safety or drag your swings through multiple enemies. Like, even with 40 damage swings, you'll regularly see me running my zigzag on groups of enemies just with the slashes, keeping initiative, when if I had, say, a one-handed axe, the weapon wouldn't have the reach to use its superior 1vx stats. And this kind of one-handed fluid fighting feel, it goes full circle that you can actually slow the longsword down quite a bit, even with just normal dragged attacks. I speak a lot about conditioning opponents, and the longsword speed just gets players so freaked about that fast attack that you can throw in a nice heavy drag to really break tendencies and do some quality damage, and the longsword has some pretty decent drags on those slashes and overheads. To me, this kind of fluid fighting style where we can combine elements that we usually see in either a one-handed or two-handed weapon into the glory that is the longsword is the best of both worlds, and I hope this helps people see why I put so much value on running the longsword. And look, I understand people preferring the Messer and see the arguments on why so many players really, really like that weapon. Again, there's just so much subjectivity to this stuff, but to me, longsword, it'll always be the GOAT. Champ out.